Hey guys, it's Shane here, and uh, today I'm just going to bring you the packs that are out at the moment. Um, the premium bronze jumbo that I'm reading off the screen at the moment. I wasn't going to do this video for you guys. Um, five or six of you have PM me just saying, is it worth it? We're not having so much luck with the 400, so I thought I'd bring it to you, bring my thoughts, uh, let you know what to look out for and stuff like that. Um, as you can see when I hover over it, there is only one day left, so um, I would suggest definitely doing it if you're maybe struggling for money. If you're under, say, ten to 15,000 and you're looking for that bit extra, um, you only need to sell 11 cards for 150 to obviously make or start making profit. If uh, you're going to obviously try and sell the contracts out of these, uh, you will uh, definitely make money because I think you get about four or five contracts minimum out of this one. So without further ado, we'll open this pack for you here. Um, before I open that thing about it, I had around 90,000 when I started today. Um, I bought 12 or 13 packs and I'm on 99 that is and I've still got a few things left to sell. Um, so as I said, it's not huge money. There's a couple of times out of that that you do lose money. But on average you break even to make profit on every single one and at the end of the day that's what we're after. There would, there's obviously needs to be a risk. It's a risk reward basis. So a lot less risk buying these than there is buying the premium golds. Um, when you're looking for stuff in these packs, you're looking for uh, English players, shiny players, anybody with good pace. I can see this right back at the moment. They've got some good pace. I'll definitely get him to sell. Uh, you want your healing cards, which as you can see here is a healing card. Shiny contracts. Um, the fitness cards for player, which are don't think I've got this time. Uh, no, see this Donaldson. He's English and he's got a nice pace. I'll be able to sell him probably for 250 to 300. Um, also with the kits, even though I don't think I've got any this time. Um, always be wary with bronze kits. Uh, don't just discard them straight away and say they're bad, we don't need them. Uh, a lot of the bronze kits do go for a little more than 150 to 200. So I'd suggest if you're not sure, going into your put them into your trade pile, go onto the market and have a look. Um, these are selling at the moment for around 350. Uh, I'm just making a note here so I can kind of work out the values for you guys. Um, this guy I would say is probably about 200 in the current market. Um, let's go along here. These I sell for 250. Right, what have we got here? This guy I'll probably just sell for 200 if not 150 I just keep going through selling this guy I wouldn't bother about he's a goalkeeper goalkeepers notoriously are difficult to sell because all of their stats are quite low you get away with strikers and such because they have good pace so people kind of overlook every other stat this manager contract is 200 as well now this guy I'm not really sure about but I'm just going to budget that he's 400 for example because of the pace and he's a right back as well and um, there's not that many really fast bronze right back so keep him for that this uh, healing card here put for 200 you might get lucky and get 250 if it's peak time but we'll put that as 200 these are kind of not really very useful not very useful maybe uh, 150 so I'm just working this out in my head it's around 1900 just the cards that I've added up then and that doesn't include these these minor contracts so if we've got one two three four four of the contracts there so uh, probably around two thousand in this pack if not more so uh, as usual guys if you did enjoy this video if you did like what I had to say give it a like and come and subscribe let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want me to do any series you want me to run and I'll do that for you guys so until next time I'll catch you later bye